On January 8, 2005, at quarter to three in the morning near Guam, USS San Francisco hit an undersea mountain at flank speed. The crew suffered one fatality, but the sub did not sink. Because USS San Francisco, SSN 711, was subsafe. The submarine safety program was born out of a tragedy that cost the lives of 129 sailors and civilians 200 miles off the coast of New England in April of 1963. Every April, the U.S. Navy submarine community pauses to remember the souls lost aboard Thresher and what Subsafe has accomplished since. To date, not one Subsafe certified boat has been lost. And so the way we, we indoctrinate folks into this, so we make sure that those people, those 129 sailors and civilians that passed away and didn't die in vain, is that we ensure that uh, you know we remind ourselves not to be complacent, not to be arrogant, and that's really what today's ceremony is all about. At Naval Sea Systems Command Headquarters in Washington, D.C., each year's Remembrance Ceremony features a guest speaker who relates the success of the Subsafe program to their day-to-day -day business practices. The problems that one sees in a particular environment or a particular technology, the human factors problems, are um, often seen in other places as well, that there's a real commonality, uh, largely because we're all human beings and we're working with the same types of technologies, even though the settings may be different. And I'll be telling uh, stories about design-induced human error in a variety of different settings, so hopefully that will uh, uh, resonate with uh, people here. Every story pretty much had some connection to Subsafe. Uh, the one that really resonated with me was the last one regarding the Learjet, uh, US Airways jet. Um, in the sense that it was not just one particular breakdown that caused a tragedy, but it was a sequence of events that led to the, to the tragedy. Most relatable to the submarine. Um, it's, you're still putting people in basically a container in a very harsh environment. Um, so for me, we, we have, NAVC does have close ties uh, with NASA and we've kind of partnered with some things and helped each other out, safety aspects. Um, so just the two are very relatable.